Good morning to traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. This morning there is big movement in the euro US dollar picture. The euro started the morning in Asia around 129.40. It has fallen back to around 129 which are lower than the levels reached yesterday. One of the reasons for the weaker euro is that there are starting to be quarrels again between uh, leaders inside the Euro eurozone. Uh, the German uh, government is very dissatisfied with uh, uh, Spain dragging its feet, not uh, taking a real decision regarding whether they want an international bailout uh, or whether they want to stick to the bailout for the banks. That has created new nervousness and a new bad sentiment in the European markets. In addition to Spain, we have also then new rumors that the budget deficit in Greece is much higher than expected and that there was a quarrel between then one of the Troika representatives from the International Monetary Fund and the Greek finance minister uh, when the Troika visited during the weekend. The uh, report from the Troika's visit has not yet been uh, published. There are a better uh, trend in the oil market this morning. Uh, Brent crude was climbing uh, above 110 after seeing 109 uh, figures the whole, whole yesterday. Uh, the reason for the bigger uh, or for the increase in the oil prices are again fears and anxiety regarding the situation in the Middle East. After the uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu being bellicose for a long period of time, during the weekend, the turn came to the Iranians and the head of the Revolutionary Guard said that he was that Iran is ready for any attack from the Israeli side with or without American support. Mr. Ahmadinejad, the president of Iran, is going to speak in the UN General Assembly uh, tomorrow. Yesterday he made an interview with uh, the American channel CNN and in this interview he took a much more conciliatory tone. Gold and silver prices are still uh, lower than it than they were at the beginning of, or during last week. Gold is trading at uh, 1763 and it has a long way to go uh, up to the peak on Friday where it reached 1787. Stock markets in the United States were more or less flat yesterday and in Europe uh, they corrected. In Asia this morning, uh, the indexes are also flat. One of the reasons why the US was weak yesterday was that one of the giants, uh, Caterpillar, came uh, out with a statement saying that they expected to have a much uh, weaker economic development or, or a much weaker e development for the company than they had uh, over the last years. I think that we are again in for a very uh, interesting trading day. We should also watch then Japanese yen that has made the new comeback over the last couple of days. It was trading on 77.80 uh, this morning, falling a little back both in regards to euro and US dollars after big gains uh, over uh, at the end of last week. I wish you all a very good trading day from Cyprus.